Hi gang! Welcome to Q&A Thursday, where you ask the questions and I supply the answers. Our cue today is from Celeste from Canada, and she writes, Dear Sharon, I have really enjoyed all of the programs that you offer. I have uh, in, um, in participated in your webinars. I have done your makeover sessions. I have thoroughly enjoyed uh, your makeup artist and your hairdresser. We have had so much fun, and everyone says that they don't even recognize me. I look beautiful. I love all the clothes you picked out for me. I never miss one of your videos when you have them on because I want to learn everything I can. But Sharon, this is my dilemma. Everybody thinks I look beautiful and wonderful, but I am afraid I'm going to wake up one morning and make a mistake or not know how to do a particular look or not know what to match up, you know, with another to wear out that day. And I see the same old frumpy gal that started all of this a year ago. What can I do? I'm just stuck in a rut and I'm getting scared. Okay, Celeste, let's not make a big deal out of this, okay? And let me tell you what I'm talking about. I want you to realize, and I want all of you ladies to realize this, you are already exquisite, you're already gorgeous, you have beautiful features, you look perfectly hot. All you do here is enhance what you already have. That's all a makeover is. It's uh, giving yourself a little change. Maybe you want a new hairstyle. Uh, maybe you want some highlights in your hair for the season. Maybe you want to cut your hair into a different style. Maybe you want a new wardrobe. Uh, maybe you want to participate in some of the trends and you want to learn, you know, whether you jump in full force with the trends or do you just add a little as you go, like shoes and a handbag, scarf, etc. That's all it is. You're enhancing what you already have. You know, sometimes women our age from 40 to 60 can get stuck in a rut. And we get, we're wearing some of the same hairstyles we used to wear way back when. We're dressing the same way we used to uh, way back when. And we have to understand we're not 20 anymore. Okay? So we have to update our look. We have to make it a little more youthful looking, a little more modern, and still stay within the lines of being appropriate. I mean, we don't want to look like the happy hooker on Saturday night, okay, girlfriend? But this is the problem, Celeste, that you're having. You're not embracing the changes. You're not embracing your beauty here. People are giving you tons and tons of compliments I do know for a fact that you got two or three men out after you, and this is kind of blowing you away. So you say when you're standing in front of the mirror, you're seeing the same old frump, okay, that you did. But you were never a frump. All you did was enhance and update your look. Sweetheart, what you have to do is have the confidence in yourself. If everyone else notices this and you don't, then the problem is with you. Now, this is going to sound strange, and for you ladies out there who don't have enough goods, you know, like Celeste, to admit you're going through the same issue, let me tell you what to do with this. It's going to sound strange, it's going to sound kind of funny, but do it anyway. I teach this to all my clients. I want you to go into your bathroom mirror. I want you to take an eye pencil, and I want you to write on that mirror, I love myself. Write that down. I love myself. Then I want you to write, right under it, I love and accept myself for exactly as I am. And I want you to leave that on your mirror. So every day when you go into that mirror, and you know you take five to ten trips in and out of that bathroom doing something one way or another, I want you to say this over and over to yourself as you're looking at yourself in the mirror. These are called mirror affirmations. And what you project onto that mirror is coming right back to you. In about 30 days, you're going to be totally convinced you're the hottie that you thought you were. I mean, if people are saying you're gorgeous, you're sexy, you're beautiful, my gosh, girlfriend, you could suck the chrome off a pickup truck right now. You look fabulous. I don't know what you're griping about. We all should look this good right about now. But you've got to believe it. You've got to feel it. You've got to see it. You've got to stand in front of that mirror and say, I am all that. And a bag of chips go, mm, I shot the sheriff. And mwah, mwah, I love myself. I am hot. I'm beautiful. I'm wonderful. 
That's the attitude that you must take. And we all do it because it's good for our ego. Definitely get out there and work your jelly. Let everyone compliment you and just simply turn around and say, thank you. If they said, what did you do to yourself? said, just enhance what I already had, honey. And this is the way to keep your confidence level up. But I want you to write those affirmations down. And I want you to feel good about yourself. And I want you to realize that every single one of us, it doesn't matter if it's hair color, our eyes, or our features, there's something so gorgeous about each and every woman. And whatever is the one thing that you do have, whether it be eyes or a figure or your great new boob job or whatever, enhance that. Play upon that to draw out, you know, the best that you've got going. I mean, my calling card is my hair, you know. I, so I play it up all the time with the platinum and the, and the spiky blown away look. And, and, of course, everybody knows I'm a jewelry whore, you know what I mean? <laughs> so whatever is your thing, whatever one feature you have that's beautiful, play on that. You'll never be disappointed. You'll learn to love yourself. It's been a long time since you took care of yourself because you were too busy taking care of your mom. You had an aunt to take care of. I know this because you're my client. And I know that you had kids. You're an empty nester now. Now it's got to be about you taking care of you. Remember, we gave to everyone else and we sacrificed. Now it's our turn to get out there and look hot and work our show. So Celeste, do it. Write that on your mirror. Get going. Then you call me, okay, in about 30 days and let me know how you feel then. I think you look magnificent, darling, and we all should. See you next Thursday.